Presents the wonderful world of Personal favor, Johan, please. Stalena's was the last. It was agreed. Take me home. Lana has taken ill. Huh? Too bad. He was supposed to conduct the Doma S at 12.30. I guess the orchestra could play without the leader, but... Sorry, Tobias, but I refuse to be melted by your crocodile tears. I'm tired. Bone tired. Tired of this crazy business. The silly, fawning women. I'm going home to bed. Of course, of course. You're not as young as you used to be. You need the rest. So, anticipating your exhaustion, I thought of another substitute for Lana. Good. Your son. Shani? He has talent, a sensitive violinist, promising composer. Never. I told you not to encourage him. Johan, listen. I forbid it. Shane will not make my mistake. Mistake? To be the Wolf's King of Vienna? Wolf's King? The? 
I refuse to argue. As you say, you are tired. I am not too tired to maintain an intelligent position. I know what is best for my boys. Charlie, Joseph are grown men. They are still my sons. They will do as I command. And no more nonsense from you. Where are you taking me? Oh, Master Rao says you... Didn't you hear her hustlinger? He told you Domeyers, and Domeyers it is. Now, turn around. Yes, Astro. It's your father. Oh, I know. No, what's the matter? I can't let him find me here. Uh, Change places. Uh, huh? but please. Capturing the spirit of this gay spring night with a gallop. Spell gallop. Joseph, Papa caught me. Huh? 
playing in Lana's orchestra. Lana took sick and suddenly there he was. There was who? Papa, he took Lana's place. Charlie! Charlie! Come down here. How many times must I tell you that I will not have it? Yes, Father. I forbid you to play music in public and you deliberately disobey me. I find work for you. Decent, respectable, daytime work. And you stay up all night playing second fiddle in a, in a third-rate orchestra? Well, I won't have it. My sons are going to be solid, respectable citizens if it kills me. Do you think I make these plans to amuse myself? What is this generation coming to when boys who are barely in their twenties dare to defy their fathers? Now you listen to me. You will forget this nonsense. You will be on your job on time tomorrow and the day after, and the day after that. And you will become a lawyer, or I will disown you. Do you understand? No, Father, I do not understand. Then maybe this will help you understand. You're coming on business for your father? No, Herr Hassel. Then out of my place. Not plate. just a minute. Not even a second. Out. Don't you want to hear my latest waltz? No. Especially don't I want to hear anything of yours. But you encourage me. A grave mistake. You said I had talent. I take it back. From now, from now on, we are not even nodding acquaintances. Out. Please. Would you rather I take it to dear belly? By all means, dear belly. It is better I should lose you to a competitor than your father. Herr yeah? Hasling, <laughs> yeah? Treft, how nice to see you. Thank you, sir. It's good to be back. I hear you are going to sing at Domeyer's. Yes, isn't that a lucky break? For Domeyer, yes. Oh, he knows talent as well as I do. Then you also know talent is not enough. It needs good material. Help yourself. Hundreds of things. Love songs, lullabies, arias. Don't you have something special for a coloratura? Something that hasn't been sung to death? <laughs> What's that? What's what? Now there's something new and fresh. Never heard it before. Just what I've been looking for. You're the composer. Well, allow me to introduce myself. Johann Strauss, Jr. Another gifted Strauss? No, he, he's a lawyer's apprentice. A musical lawyer, then. Could I hear it again, please? Gladly. There are lyrics, if you'd care to try it.
Joseph, I have done it. I have finally done it. What have you done? I've written a waltz that Hustlinger could not resist. Oh, Charlie. And you know who sang it, yet he treffs, and she's going to use it at Domeyer's. In public? <laughs> of course, in public. After what Papa told you? Well, maybe when he hears that a professional is using my music, he'll come to his senses. Please, Charlie. Where is Papa? Taking his afternoon nap. Sleeping soundly, I hope. Oh, I want you to hear this. Charlie, not Papa's violin. It's the only one left in the house. Must you play now, Charlie? Papa is sure to hear. Johan, what you do? No, Papa. You dare to lay hands on your father? Yes, but... Uh... Johan! No! That's your violin! I warned you. Oh, I know you did, but I cannot live like this. I'm not cut out to be a lawyer. My life is in music, and I don't know why you fight it and why you make me fight you. You have a job. Work at it, and this foolishness will pass. I had a job, Father. Not anymore. I quit. Do you remember what I said I would do if you disobeyed? Well, you won't have to disown me, Father. I intend to leave anyway. Then go. No, Johan. No. Go. Live like a musician. Eat your heart out. Fiddle for fools. Spend the rest of your useless life in a dress suit. Go on, pop the champagne corks, smile back at the giddy women, and then one day, when you're sick to death of it all, remember what I told you. What makes you think I'll be any more successful? First, you're a girl. You're prettier than I am. Second, he will suspect I'm trying to influence him because of his father. Which is true. True. In other words, you'd rather I did the nasty work. Shani must give up this nonsense and go back to the law office. It's essential for his father's peace of mind. Not to mention my own. looks even worse than the last one. He is coming down in the world. You just see to it that Chan will return to that law office. Adieu, Haslinger. I'll drop in tomorrow with a full report. Good, good. Back to my office, please.
Excuse me, please. Is that Strausty living here? Oh, right inside. Ah, thank you. You gonna take music lessons? Uh, well... Uh... When you pay him, you better make it bread or wine. He's got plenty of sausage. <laughs> thank you again. Lottie, uh, that was very, very nice, but if you watch your elbow and uh, held the bow a little more loosely... Well, here, let me show you. Do as I tell you and keep practicing. I will. May I go now? Of course. We can only stand so much work, and we must rest and play. You're very smart for a music teacher, Herr Strauss. Well, thank you, Lottie. Bye, Herr Strauss. Oh, I almost forgot. Papa said there'd be bread for next week's lesson. Would you accept this? Thank you very much. Goodbye, Herr Strauss. Goodbye. Yeti. Yeti. Well, uh, come up, please. What a surprise to see you. It's been ages. Yes, it has. We've all missed you. Well, I've been working very hard. Good. Please. To you, madame. To our picnic. and you know it. All your friends know it. It is something you cannot hide. And why should you? Is a man's work valid only if it is acclaimed? Yes, but how long, Eddie? How long must I go on like this? My work is good. Well, I'm not great. I'm not a Wagner or Beethoven, but I make the kind of music people like to hear. I know this. Do you know that Hustlinger still will not publish me, not as long as he's afraid of losing my father? Then poo to Hustlinger. He's not the only publisher. Thank you. He might as well be. Did you know he has gotten to every other publisher? He's put the fear of death in them, bribed them, I don't know what, but they won't even look at my work, let alone publish it. Why don't you get an orchestra and play your own music? An orchestra, my own music. Why not? With what? Musicians won't play for nothing or for promises. And it takes money. Good, hard cash. Would a hundred golden help? A hundred golden? I just signed a contract with the opera and they gave me a hundred golden in advance. You're welcome to it. Good, not from you, not from a woman. Of course not from a woman, but from a fellow artist. And it's a loan, not a gift. I expect it back. It's very, very nice of you, Yeti. It's a wonderful gesture, but... Let's be realistic. No more objections, please. Just listen. I sang for a while at Domeyes, and he was always complaining that things are not what they used to be. No young talent, no fresh music. Could it be we have a surprise for him? Hmm? You know something? What, Johnny? make it very difficult to be a failure. All right, I'll pay it back every cent. With interest. <laughs>
Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. As all of you must know by now, I am a patient man. I have enormous patience, but enough is enough. Now, Piccolo, what's the matter with you? Either they go or I go. Boys. Better? How can it be better? Just look around. He is right. How can we work under these conditions? It's impossible. You can't keep your mind on the music. I have had enough. I quit. Me too. Fellas, fellas, listen. We've all been working too hard. We're on edge, but we've got something here. Let's not give up before we give ourselves a chance. I told you the Dohmeyer debut looks good. I expect to hear today one way or the other. Now, can't you at least wait for that? Let's take it Why out. Why not? What do we have to right. lose? Come on, fellas. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. What do you say we try the next number and see how it goes? All right, from the beginning. 12 o'clock, lunchtime. Sit down. It is in the agreement, one half hour for lunch. Promptly at high noon. Lunch, gentlemen. Shani! Shani, I've got it, I've got it! The contract? Yes. What did I tell you? Dohmeyer's name, big as life. So when do we start? April 21st. Hey, that's Saturday. We better start rehearsing. What are we waiting for? Let's go. And gentlemen, please, this time like you meant it.
Rosalind is here, Herr Strauss. Oh, yes. Um, show him in, please. Uh, do you mind, my dear? We have some, uh, some business to discuss. Madame Strauss, you are looking well. Thank you, Haslinger. When you discuss Shani, please do so with charity in your hearts. <laughs> Such a woman. Sometimes I think she reads my mind. <laughs> Sit down, Tobias. Was it about Shani you asked me to come? Of course, but I didn't tell her that. She must have smelt it. <laughs> women, women. Well, never mind about her. This is between men. You and me. Tobias, my son's debut must not come off. Eh? You must not allow it. Me? Well, of course you. Who else is so good at making and breaking careers? Or have you been boasting all these years? I wish only to say that Chinese debut is already set. The contract is signed. I doubt if even the Emperor himself could break it. I'm not asking the Emperor, you imbecile. I'm telling you. I don't care how. Do it. Charity in our hearts. Yes, with charity. Do you think this is easy for me? Don't you understand this is for Shani's own good? We must knock this nonsense out of his head now, while he's still young, before good business prospects have passed him by. Because you are a genius, Johann, I cannot always follow you. But I'll do as you say. Ah, thank you. After all, business is business. And we all know Vienna isn't big enough for two Strausses, eh? Tobias, are you implying that my son could be a competition to me? A threat? A threat to the master, the idol. <laughs> How ridiculous. Now, the boy is good, eh? Johann, he is very, very good. Then all the more reason you must destroy him. Completely. See to it. Destroy him? But completely. I'm not accustomed to destroying careers, Herr Hardlinger. I make careers. I launch them with the applause of myself and associates. Herr Stieglitz. All these years, I have employed your services, and you are now explaining to me your function. Only because you are asking me to do something I do not do. Then branch out, expand. Ruining artists should make a welcome change, give you a business more scope. I don't like this. A fine young man, possibly as great an artist as his father. <sighs> we are saving this boy from himself from making a terrible mistake, he would regret the rest of his life. You wouldn't want to inflict that on him, would you? Of course not. Well, then. <clears throat> Destroy him for us. How? How? You are supposed to be the king of the clacks, you tell me. You and your men. Can't you whistle? Catcall? Stamp your feet? Make noises of disapproval? Yes. I suppose we could, but we would have to acquire these somewhat vulgar skills. Practice them. I would have to raise my fee, Herr Haslinger. Some 20%. Uh, all right, all right. I'll pay it. Anything so that Chinese statue doesn't come up. As you wish, Herr Haslinger. The operation must be clean and quick. See to it.
Have you understood everything clearly? Tactics, position, timing? Good. Then take your places. In three minutes, I make my final reconnaissance. Go. Thrilling, isn't it? You seem more excited than you were at your own debut. Oh, I am. Look, there's Stieglitz. Stieglitz? The king of the clerks, the man who launched Schubert. He helped me too. What a break for Shani. Dear sweet Tobias, how wonderful of you. Huh? Now don't pretend to be modest. Who else could have thought of it?
I should like to play, in honor of my father, the Radetzky March by Johann Strauss, Sr. To honor my son's debut, I am privileged to conduct Roses from the South by Johann Strauss, Jr.
must rest. Oh. Thank you, madame. You will forgive me, but I had to do that. My pleasure would be even keener if I knew your name. I am an admirer. Let that be enough. Ah. A Cossack. He says he's looking for... Are you the Countess Polanski? Oh, dear. He mustn't find me. Not here. Through this way. The car door will take you back to the hall. Yes. Thank you. Where is she? I beg your pardon? My fiancé. I know she is here. You must have the wrong room, my friend. Try another. You lie! Herr Strauss, too, has been strenuous. He must rest. If there is a lady involved, I at least have the right to know her name and yours. The lady is my fiancé, the Countess Polenska. I, Prince Prokolov, call you out. You have joys of weapons. What makes you think your fiancé is here? She sent you flowers. Of this, I have been informed. I see. Come with me, my friend. Flowers from ardent admirers. So? Well, if you can find your fiancé's bouquet and her card is any more passionate than the others, I will gladly fight a duel with you.
you say? <laughs> How did you do that? Didn't you know I'm a very funny man? Please, Herr Strauss. Some intermission rest, huh? Tobias, this is it. We're going home. Impossible. We have Moscow yet. Cancel it. But think of the money. At the present rate of exchange. No, I said cancel. Oh, oh, We're oh. going home. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Applause is good to hear anywhere, but nowhere in the world so good as in Vienna. Mama, my love. Yes, yes, yes. Good night. Good night to you, too, sweet lady. Good night. to know you'd be wearing that horrible beard. Is this what fame has done to you? No, that's not the half of it. Look, why don't we go somewhere quiet and talk? There's the thing in the world I'd rather do. It seems like years. It has been years. Driver, grinsing.
Eddie, it's not enough. What more could a man ask for? He has success, security, popularity. You sound like hustling. I expected more understanding from you. What do you want me to tell you? That you're wasting your time and talents conducting a dance band, writing light, romantic waltzes? Is that what you want? I don't know what I want. I only know that I'm fed up with the fawning women and the rich food and the flattering friends. Where do I go from here? You have quite a problem, don't you? Where does a waltz king go? Papa was right. He warned me. If he were alive today, he'd point his finger at me and he'd say, you see, Shani, you should have stuck with the law. Remember how I fought him? No man is ever what he wants to be. He's only what he is. And by that, I mean you're a better musician than you realize. You think so? Look, I'm an opera singer. I should know what I'm talking about. You have it in you to be one of the immortals. I, immortal? You mean like Wagner? Of course not like Wagner. Immortal like... like Strauss. Gay, carefree, a lover of life and of Vienna. You are Vienna. Please don't ever lose that. You're good for me, Yeti. You always were. But this time you've got me wrong. If I'm going to compose serious music, I'd better start taking life and music a lot more seriously. It's different for you, I mean. In other words, you don't like it. Oh. Maybe I've been with the city engineers too long. Lost my ear. Excuse me. I have some plans I have to check over before morning. A new street sweeper, maybe? Not exactly. This has to do with city improvement. We plan to... Oh, but why bore you? It couldn't possibly be of interest to you. See, why not? I, for generations, the Strausses have been gypsies and musicians and artists. I think it's a step forward. The little brother is the famous inventor of a street sweeper. Don't you? Excuse me. You shouldn't have spoken like that, Charlie, just because he wasn't enthusiastic about your music. Well, he said himself he'd lost his ear, his interest. You are wrong. Joseph has never lost his love of music, but he's shy. He couldn't bring himself to disobey his father, as you did. But at heart, he's just as much a musician as you ever were. He has been composing for a long time. If you weren't so busy being famous, you might have noticed. Look this over sometime, and please, don't hurt him anymore. Good night, my Good dear. Good night, madame. It's getting rather late. I'd better be going. No, wait, please. You have nothing to say. There's nothing I could possibly add to what's been said. You agree? Yes. But I... You're the one that encouraged me. You said I had it in me to do better things, and maybe even as good as Wagner. Yes, but as Strauss, not as Wagner. Ah, listen. Better? Yes, much better.
glad you could come. Mama told me you wanted to see me here. But if it's because you think you have to apologize about last night, please forget all about it. Well, I will not forget, and I do apologize. But that's not why I wanted you to come. It's something else. Mama showed me your... Uh... Look, come over here, huh? No, come on up. Is this a joke? No, no, this is very serious. I, I want to play something for you, and I want your honest opinion. Oh, please, Shani, not again. No, listen, please. Should be pizzicato. Pizzicato? I don't know. Suppose you uh, show us. Come on. Go ahead. All right, gentlemen. Pizzicato. Fine, Joseph. Do you have anything else? <laughs> Not with me. Well, try the next number. But why? You're a Strauss, aren't you? Conducting is second nature to a Strauss. Go ahead. All right, gentlemen. Next polka. turning over some of my conducting to Joseph, and that'll give me more time for composing. Well, you haven't given up? Well, I come from a long line of bullheaded Straussism. We never give up. Good. Because I have tickets for an operetta I want you to go an to. An operetta? Yes, by a Frenchman named Offenbach. Have you heard of him? Of him, yes, but I've never heard his work. What could be important or serious about an operetta? You'll see.
It's wonderful. Such spirit and the gaiety. I thought you'd like it. Much more your type of thing than Wagner. It's a lot more popular than opera, isn't it? Yes, the audience loves it. Pardon me, but are you maybe thinking of writing an operetta now? Thinking, yes. You are king of the world, successful, getting richer every day. Don't waste your time on such thinking. Don't you ever think of anything except money? Of course I do. Sometimes I have to think about silly musicians who make for me nothing but problems. First Wagner, now Offenbach. What next? Do you know Offenbach? I know everybody. Well, I would like to meet him. Nothing simpler. Only this afternoon he came to my shop to arrange a meeting with you. So I ask you, who is the more famous? Is an operetta any better than 50 great waltzes? I am telling you, a shoemaker shouldn't always be changing gravy trains in midstream. <laughs> An honor, indeed an honor. It's the other way around, Monsieur Offenbach. The honor is mine. Oh, I've long been the admirer of your beautiful melodies. Thank you, sir. I've never heard anything like your music before. We Viennese are a little provincial. We're not used to such lively wit, such clever music. It's truly wonderful. How do you do it? Uh, it's not really that difficult. The first step is to find the right story, the kind that inspires you with musical ideas. Time, Maestro. Oh, you will excuse me, the third act begins, but we will meet again soon, oui? Oh, most certainly. I'll arrange a dinner. We have so much to talk about. Uh, it has been most charming, Madame Strauss. I am also looking forward to seeing you again. Yes, I, I mean, I am too. Well, we better go back to our seats. Did you hear what he called you? Yes, uh, silly of him, wasn't it? Oh, what a fool I've been. A selfish, conceited idiot. It takes a stranger to tell me what you are to me. What you've always been to me. Will you marry me? I should ask to think it over. As a proper lady would. But why pretend? I said yes many years ago. Tobias, for everything, especially the privacy. Shani? Yes? How long will you be gone? A month. A whole month? <laughs> Go on. Sorry, darling. What's so funny? This play. The play? I've been reading nothing but plays for the past week. Haven't you noticed? How can I notice anything but your beautiful face? <laughs> mm, you sound just like Alfred. Alfred? Now, who's Alfred? A character in the play. Oh. <laughs> He's in love with the businessman's wife. That's supposed to be funny. Will you please listen? I'm trying to tell you. The story is very amusing. It pokes fun at the Russians, at aristocracy, at uh, everything. Uh, what's the name of this gem? Fledermaus. The bat? Uh, it sounds more like a horror story. <laughs> it's just because one of the characters wears a bat costume at a masquerade. Oh. Are you listening? 
Mm, I'm listening. You'd better. This would make a wonderful operetta. You know what Hoslinger says about changing gravy trains in midstream. It's risky business. Do you want to hear more of this story or don't you? Mm, why not? Oh, where were we? Oh, yes, the character in the bat costume. Well, it seems he had too much champagne at his masquerade, so his friend leaves him lying in the public square to slip it off. Well, he wakes up, it is 10 o'clock the next morning, and everybody's laughing at him. As long as you're awake, listen to this. inspiration, how else could it sound? <sighs> Where does it come into the story? Well, it's the uh, ballad the wife sings to her husband in the second act. But she doesn't. <laughs> I knew you weren't listening. Well, somebody sings it. It's wonderful. Like Offenbach? No, you silly goose, not like Offenbach or Wagner or Brahms or anybody else in the whole world, except Shani Strauss. Mein schönes großes Vogelhaus, es ist ganz nahe hier. Die Vögel flattern ein und aus, bekommen Freiquartier. Drum lade ich sie ganz höflich ein, verehrtes, da ich bitt. Dort auch mein werter Gast zu sein, dort auch mein werter Gast zu sein, verehrtes, da ich bitt, ich bitt, spazierens gefälligst mit. Wenn es sein muss, so will ich gehen. Doch schweigen Sie, es soll geschehen. Nun fort, schnell fort. Gleich will ich mich bequemen, doch erst noch Abschied nehmen. Genug, mein Herr, es ist schon gut. Ein Küsschen noch, dann hab ich Mut. Nein, nein, genug, wir müssen scheiden. Ein Küsschen gibt Trost mir im Leiden. Mein Herr, genug der Zärtlichkeit, wir kommen nicht zu Ende heute. Genug, es ist jetzt Zeit. Es ein schönes, großes Vogelhaus, es ist ganz nahe hier. Die Vögel flattern ein und aus, und fällt der Freikartier. Er ladet sie ganz höflich ein, dann braucht sein Gast zu sein. Drum bitte, der Vögel, sei sie frei, das muss das Beste sein. Nun mal ab, das schafft er sein, das selbst mit mir getreut zu mehren. Ja, ich will, 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 Relax a minute. Oh, it's going well. 
some people who can live like ostriches with their heads in the clouds. Now what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. Look, if there is something wrong, I want to know what it is. Just some silly room. It's more than a rumor. I have it on good authority. What do you have on whose authority? They are going to close your show even before it opens. That's what. Who are they? No, darling, don't get excited. No, I'm not excited, but I will if somebody doesn't get to the point. Who is going to close Fledermouse? The Russian ambassador sent a formal protest to the foreign minister. So? So this protest says that your operetta makes fun of the Russian ability. Shows it to be arrogant and stupid. Which it is. What's wrong with telling the truth? The truth? You call that the truth? The police catching a rich man's wife with her boyfriend? Things like that do happen. Sure, sure, but does this man have to be rich? That is the point. The play satirizes the morals of the nobility and the rich. But those kind of people are so powerful. Now, I am supposed to be scared to death of these stuff shirts. What next? It's no use. Every day you're getting more stubborn than your father used to be. Go on, open your show. But when your career is ruined, don't say I didn't warn you. Finale of Act One. We have much work to do if we're going to open on time. Positions, please. Numbered by the enemy, we will be outfought and outlawed. This I predict. The Emperor and the Archduchess. Archduchess hasn't been to a theatre in 15 years. This can end in nothing but disaster. What are you two whispering about? Oh, nothing, Mama. Just to bar us and his little jokes. Tobias, it's too late to turn back now. Yeah, but the nobility is not applauding. The beginning of the end commences.
See how wrong you are? He's won the audience already. One battle doesn't win the war. Wait till the second act. Im Feuersturm der Reben, falalalalala, spürt ein himmlisch Leben, falalalalala. Der König ist der Kaiser, sie lieben nur der Reise, das Leben zählt ein Leben, den süßen Saft der Reben. Stoßt an, stoßt an und fühlt im Verfeiner, dem König aller Weine, dem König aller Weine. Stoßt an, stoßt an, stoßt an. Die Bahn des Lied wird abgekommen, abgekommt, rings im Land, jubelt wird schon fahren, ja, der ist der